had gone to Kurukshetra to perform sacrifice and at that time he met with all the people of Vrindavan. And now we're hearing about how the Pandavas came there and Draupadi also and they all met with the wives of Lord Krishna. So Draupadi was anxious, he, she was eager to know what these queens had done to become the wives of Lord Krishna. So we heard first of all from Rukmini and then from Satyabhama. Those are the first two principal queens of Krishna. Actually, there are eight principal queens of Krishna and there are 16,100 queens, other, other queens, 16,100, but eight are principal queens. So, uh, Rukmini and Satyabhama were the first two principal queens. Now we're going to hear from the third queen. Her name is Jambavati. So she says to Draupadi, she tells Draupadi that when Lord Krishna attacked my father, the father of Jambavati is a person called Jambavan, who is actually a bear. Yeah, here and in this in this in the Krishna book, uh, his Jambavan is the king. He was the king of the rickshaws. The rickshaws. They're 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 very special bears. They're not like ordinary bears. They're very very powerful, and they can change form. And they fought, many of these rickshaws, they fought for Lord Ramachandra in the Battle of Lanka. They helped Lord Ramachandra defeat Ravan. So Lord Krishna had a big fight with Jambavan. He didn't know, Jambavan didn't know that Lord Krishna was his former master, who he was actually non different from Lord Rama. Lord Rama is the husband of the goddess of fortune, Sita. So Jambavan didn't know who was Lord Krishna and he fought with him 
fought with him for 27 days. So after he'd been fighting for 27 days and Jambavan became exhausted, he was so tired, so exhausted, he could understand that the only person who could fight with them like this is Lord Ramachandra. So he understood that Lord Krishna was not different from Lord Ramachandra. So after fighting 27 days, then he came to his senses and he surrendered to Lord Krishna. And he gave Lord Krishna the Shaimantaka jewel. Lord Krishna had been searching for that jewel. And Jambavan had it and gave it to Krishna. And then Jambavan also wanted to show his uh, sincerity to Lord Krishna, so he gave his daughter Jambavati to him to be his wife. So Jambabhati said, in this way I got married to Lord Krishna in my desire to be the servant of Krishna life after life was fulfilled. And so sometimes people wonder, does it mean Krishna had a bear for a wife? Well, <laughs> she could change her form and she was a very, she changed to be a very attractive, beautiful young lady. So then the next wife to be to come before Drupadi was a late the queen of Krishna called Kalindi, who is it's a name of the another name of the Yamuna River. So Kalindi said that she was doing great penances and austerities to get Lord Krishna as her husband. So when Krishna heard about this, he sent Arjuna, he came with Arjuna and at that time he accepted Kalindi as his wife. Kalindi, and she's been, she had been living at the bank of the Yamuna, but when Lord Krishna came there, he took her away and he took her with him to Dwarka. And Kalindi said, since I've been taken away by Krishna, I've come to his house and I'm I'm a serv I'm a sweeper there. I'm sweeping in the house of Lord Krishna. But Lord Krishna treats me like his wife. And then the next queen to come to Krishna, uh, to come to Draupadi, the next queen was Mitravinda. 
And she told Draupadi, she said, there was to be a great uh, assembly of princes and they had all come for her Swayamvar, where she could pick her husband. Yeah, the, the Swayamvara ceremony allows a, a very qualified queen or princess that she can pick the, hus the man she wants to marry to be her husband. So Lord Krishna was also there at the meeting and he accepted Mitravinda as his maidservant. And he defeated all of the other princes who were there. And he took Mitravinda away with him to Dwarka. He took her away with him just like a lion takes the prey from a pack of dogs. But when Mitravinda said, when Krishna took me away, my brothers came after me and they came to fight Krishna, but they were all defeated by Krishna. So in this way I, be, I have become, I've been able to fulfill my desire to be a maidservant in the house of Krishna. And then the next queen was a lady called Satya. And Satya, she was the daughter of a great powerful king. And this king also arranged a contest for people who, to find out who would be the suitable husband to marry his daughter. And the contest required that some, uh, the, the princes who wanted to marry his daughter, they had to fight with seven very ferocious bulls. And these bulls, they all had very long, sharp horns. And many brave princes came and they tried to defeat the bulls. But they all ended up being struck by the bulls and severely wounded. Yeah, they were all defeated they became, and they were invalid, they were injured so badly they had to be carried home. But when Lord Krishna came there, he fought with the bulls and he played with them just like toys and he captured the bulls and tied them up. He put a rope through the nostril of each of the bulls. 
So each of the bulls, they came under Krishna's control. Just like a goat, just like a, a goat, small kids come easily under the control of children. So Satya says, the queen said, my father was very pleased and he immediately married me to Lord Krishna in great pomp. And he gave me a great dowry with many soldiers and horses and chariots and elephants. And there were hundreds of maidservants also went with me. So Krishna took me back to his capital city, Dwarka. And when we were going back to Dwarka, on the way back, many princes attacked us, but Lord Krishna defeated all of them. So Satya said, now I have the privilege to serve his lotus feet as a maidservant. And then the next wife of Lord Krishna was Bhadra, and she told Rupadi how she became Krishna's wife. So she said, Lord Krishna is the son of my maternal uncle. And she said, uh, I became I, I became attracted to Lord Krishna's lotus feet. So when my father saw that I was attracted to Krishna, he arranged for my marriage to him. And my father gave him a dowry of one Akshahini or one division of soldiers. And he gave many maidservants and royal paraphernalia. And Bhadra says, I don't know if I will be able to have the shelter of Lord Krishna life after life. But I pray to Lord Krishna that wherever I may take my birth, I may not forget my relationship with his lotus feet. So then Krishna's other queen, Lakshmana comes and she tells how she became Krishna's wife. And she says, many times I heard Narada Muni glorifying the pastimes of Lord Krishna. I became attracted to the lotus feet of Krishna. 
When I heard Narada, Narada Muni said that the goddess of fortune Lakshmi was also attracted to his lotus feet, then I have always been thinking of him. So my attraction for him has increased. And Lakshmana says, My father was very affectionate towards me. So when my father saw that I was attracted to Krishna, he made a plan so that he made a plan that devised that he made a plan that during the Swayamvara ceremony the bridegrooms had to pierce the eyes of a fish with their arrows. So Draupadi, she also became Arjuna's wife in a similar way, the competition, but there was a difference in the competition this time. Yeah, the difference was that in this Swayamvara, uh, the, the fish was hanging openly on the ceiling in clear view. In, in Draupadi's Swayamvara, the, the fish was hanging in clear view. But in this, in this other one, in the case of Lakshmana, the fish was covered and could not be seen. We could only see the reflection in the pot of water. So that was the special nature of the Swayamvara, to win the hand of Lakshmana. So the news of the competition went all over the world. So many princes, they all came to my father's capital city to try to win my hand in marriage. And they came, they were, they were equipped with armor and they were guided by their military instructors. So each of them, they wanted to win this girl as their wife, to take this girl as their wife in the competition. But one after another, they failed. And many, they could not even join the bowstring to the end of the bow. So 
so they didn't even attempt to pierce the fish. And they just left the bow and they went away. So some people with great difficulty, they were able to draw the string from one end to the other, but they were not able to, to, uh, to tie the other end. And instead they got knocked down by the the spring of the bow. So Lakshmana said, You will be surprised to know that at my Swayamvara there were many famous kings and heroes. Kings like Jarasandha and Sishupala and Bhimasena and Duryodhana and, Ka and Karna. So they were all able to string the bow, but they could not pierce the fish. The fish was covered. And they couldn't figure out where it was from the reflection. So Arjuna, he is famous as a bowman. He was able to see the reflection of the fish on the water. So he traced out the fish and he fired an arrow, but he did not pierce the fish in the right spot. His arrow touched the fish, so it proved he was better than all the other princes. All the other princes to try, who tried to pierce the fish, they were disappointed, they were defeated. And some of them, they just, they just left, they didn't even try. But finally, Lord Krishna took up the bow and he was able to tie the bow very easily. For Krishna, it was just like a child playing with a toy. So he placed the arrow and looked only once at the reflection of the fish in the water. And he fired the arrow and the fish immediately fell down. So this Lord Krishna did this exactly at the stroke of midday at noon. This in astrology that time is called Abhijit. 
it's calculated as very auspicious time. So at that time, everywhere you could hear people calling out Jai, Jai, all over the world. And even from the sky, there were sounds of drums beaten by the demigods. And great demigods were overwhelmed with joy and they showered flowers on the earth. So the queen says, at that time I entered the arena and the ankle bells on my leg sounded very melodious as I walked. And I was nicely dressed with new silken clothes and flowers decorating my hair. And because of Lord Krishna's victory, I was very happy and smiling very pleasingly. And I carried in my hands a golden necklace covered with jewels which glittered. And my face shone with a, an effulgence due to the reflection of my various earrings. So first of all, I saw all the other princes, and then when I reached Lord Krishna, I very slowly placed the golden necklace on his neck. So from the very beginning, my mind was attracted to Lord Krishna. So when I put the garland, the golden necklace around him, I thought this is my great victory. So when I put the necklace round the neck of Lord Krishna, immediately there sounded the vibration of madangas and conch shells and kettle drums and other instruments. So it made a tumultuous sound and music played. Expert male and female dancers began to dance and singers began to sing sweetly. So Lakshmana says, My dear Drupadi, when I accepted Lord Krishna as my worshipful husband and he accepted me as his maidservant. 
。拉克什玛呢就说：“我亲爱的主帕比，当我选择了主奎什纳为尊敬的丈夫时，他也接下接纳了我为他的侍女。” But at that time, all the princes were very disappointed. And they became very agitated. So, because of their lusty desires, without caring for them, Lord Krishna, in his four-handed form as Narayan, took me away on his chariot. 尽管这些王子们都被色欲所动，但是主奎什呢毫不理会他们，他化成四臂的拿拉人的形体，立刻把我接上了战车。So he expected that the princes would try to oppose him, so he took up his saranga bow. 他为了防止这个众王子阻止他，便拿起了 saranga 弓。And Lord Krishna's chariot driver Daruka, he drove the chariot without a delay, without any delay. He drove the chariot towards Dwarka. So, in the presence of all those other princes. I was carried away just like a deer is carried away from the flock by a lion. 就这样，我便被立刻的、迅速的带走，就如同狮子从驯鹿群中夺去其中一头。However, some of the prince, some of the princes, they were, they they had proper weapons and they came after us and they tried to oppose us. 有些王子们，他们手持着武器，试图来阻拦我们。But they were just like dogs trying to oppose the march of a lion. 他们就好像狗，嗯，来阻止雄狮的前进。So at that at that time, due to the arrows. From the bow of Lord Krishna, from the saranga bow of Lord Krishna, some of the princes lost their lives, lost their hands, and lost their head. 由于主 Krishna 的 saranga 弓射出的利箭，有些王子被射断了手，有些被射断了脚，还有些被射断了头颅。And some of them just ran away and saved their life. 还有些则马上的逃离了战场。So in this way, Krishna entered into the city of Dwarka. 就这样，主 Krishna 返回了城市多尔卡。And when he entered the city, he was he appeared like the shining sun. 啊，进城的时候就好像。And the whole city of Dwarka was beautifully decorated. 整个的多尔卡城为此而粉饰一新。And there were flags and gates all over Dwarka. 嗯，旗帜飘扬，到处都有嗯大门。Even the sunshine could not enter into the city. 甚至连阳光也是照不进城市。So Lakshmana said, "My father was very affectionate to me. So when he saw my desire had been fulfilled by my getting Lord Krishna as his husband, as my husband, in great happiness, he began to give charity." Lakshmana said, "Um, my father is very affectionate to me. He saw he saw me finally get get to Krishna as my husband. He was very happy to give him many presents." He began to give valuable garments and ornaments and beds and carpets. 
。这些礼物包括名贵的衣服、饰物、床垫、座谈。Lord Krishna is self-sufficient. He doesn't need anything from anyone. So Krishna is self-sufficient. He doesn't need anything from anyone. But Lakshmana says, "My father wanted to give my husband a dowry, and he offered him many riches and soldiers and elephants." Lakshmana says. 但是我的父亲却自愿地送给他的嫁妆，包括财物、士兵、大象。He gave chariots and horses and many rare and valuable weapons. 他还给出了战车、马匹，很多嗯罕有的名贵武器。And he presented all of these things with great enthusiasm to Lord Krishna. 所以，他说：“卓帕蒂，在那时，我可以估计，在我过去的一生中，我必须完成一些奇妙的仪式。”他对卓帕蒂说：“嗯，那时候我只能猜测。”我肯定前生不知做了什么奇妙的虔诚活动。And because of these things, because of my previous activities, I can. That's why in this life, I'm a maid servant in the house of Lord Krishna. 由于那些虔诚活动，在今世我得以成为主 Krishna 家中的一名侍女。So when all these are the eight principal queens, and when they had finished their their stories about how they all became Krishna's queens, then Rohini, who is the representative of the other sixteen thousand queens, she began to tell about how they all became wives of Krishna. To Krishna, 主要的。皇后们发过言后，另外一万六千名王后的代表，柔黑女也叙述了他们成为主 Krishna 妻子的经过。So she says to Drupadi, she says, there was a great demon called Bomasura who was conquering all the world. 他对 Drupadi 说，有一位大恶魔 Bomasura， 他。And he made it his business to go and collect all the beautiful daughters of all the kings around the world, and he kept them all arrested within his palace. He also made it his business to go and collect all the beautiful daughters of all the kings around the world, and he kept them all arrested within his palace. So when Lord Krishna got news of this. He fought with Bomasura, and he got the queens free. This news was spread to Krishna. After that, he defeated Bomasura and freed the queen's daughters. Lord Krishna killed Bomasura and all his soldiers. Lord Krishna killed Bomasura and all his soldiers. So Krishna didn't need to accept even one of them as his wife. But at the request of these ladies, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' request, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' request, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' request, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' request, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' request, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' request, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' request, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' request, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' request, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' request, he married all the sixteen thousand of them. But in these ladies' Of the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. Rohini 对卓帕蒂说：“我们所我们唯一的资格就是始终的思念着他的莲花足。” We know that's the only way to get free from the bondage of birth and death. 我们知道这是唯一能摆脱生死轮回的方法。So, Rohini says to Draupadi, she said. 
we're not we're not after any opulence we don't want a kingdom we don't want any an empire we don't want any position we don't want to enjoy any material opulence and we don't want any yoga perfection. And we don't want a big position like Lord Brahma. And we don't want any of the different kinds of liberation. Like Sarupya, Samipya, Shashti, uh, Sayujya. Our only ambition, the only thing we want is to bear on our head, life after life, the dust, the dust from the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. The goddess of fortune also wants to keep that dust on her, on her breasts. So we simply want that dust which accumulates underneath the lotus feet of Krishna when he walks in the land of Vrindavan. And the gopis especially, the gopis and the cowherd men and the, even the aborigines, the aborigine tribes people, they always desire to become the grass and straw in the streets of Vrindavan. We, they always desire that the lotus feet of Krishna will walk on them. So Rohini says to Draupadi, we, we all of us, all 16,000 16, queens, we all wish to remain life after life, without any other desire. All right, so we we'll think that's the end of the chapter. Of... So we'll stop here. Are there any questions? Krishna的妻子处于什么样的心态? 去互相询问是怎样成为Krishna的妻子的? Uh, uh, thank you, Guru Maharaj, for your wonderful lecture. My question is that, uh, in w w what kind of mood did the, the wives of Krishna inquire from each other? How do they become Krishna? Did they become Krishna's wife? 
well, they must have performed, as, she, as, as they said, they must have performed very pious activities over many lifetimes to have that opportunity. Her question is about um, uh, when they are making that, uh, when we, they were making the inquiries, in what mood are they raising the inquiries? Draupadi is inquiring, she just wants to understand how they became so fortunate to become the wives of Lord Krishna. This is not an unusual thing, right? When the man and woman are married, they will often be asked, How did you meet? What is your story? How you came together to be married? So Draupadi wanted to understand each of the queens, how they came to become Krishna's queens. And as we heard, the eight queens, each of the eight queens had a very special story to tell. And the six other queens, the 16,000 queens, they, all, they also had their story. Mm. So, Hare Krishna, Gurudev, my question is that uh, if, uh, when we, if by taking care of other devotees, it will <coughs> if affect our own practice, what should we do? Well, taking care of other devotees is also very good for us because you, you get the mercy of devotee and Krishna is pleased that you're serving the devotee. At the same time, you should be careful to keep up your spiritual standards. Although you're taking care of a devotee, Still, you have to do your own spiritual practice. You have to chant every day. So you know you're going to be working, maybe in the day you have to be with the patient, the sick person, you have to talk with them, so you have to chant before you go to work. Mm. You have to try to keep up your spiritual practice. You're with a devotee, you're taking care of a devotee, you want to help them to remember Krishna. You want to chant to them, you want to remind them about Krishna. 
我们照顾奉献者，嗯，我们是怎么照顾他们的呢？我们就要让他们记住 Krishna， 我们要对他们念诵，提醒他们有关 Krishna。So it helps us to remember Krishna. If we are helping someone else to remember Krishna, it's helping us also to remember Krishna. You Lord Krishna um, married so many wives, and Lord Nishina Dev appeared for Palad Maharaj. Are they both the manifestation of their mercy to protect devotees and to uh, fulfill the wish of? Devotee. Yes, in different ways, in different circumstances, different conditions, the Lord comes always. The mission is to kill the demons and give pleasure to the devotees. So we see Lord Nishinga Dev doing this. He brought pleasure to Prahlad, to save Prahlad's life. And we see Lord Krishna also doing the same. If the new fathers began to accept the instructions from Guru and to do devotional service wholeheartedly, whether or not Lord will personally will volunteer to take care of the relatives of the devotees. Well, it's if the devotee is a good devotee, yeah, then Krishna will take care of the relatives of the devotee. Just like Prahlad Maharaj, because Prahlad Maharaj was a great devotee. So he was worried about his father because his father was a demon and he tried to kill Lord Nishringadev. But L Lord Nishringadev said, oh, you don't have to worry about your father. Not only your father, but many generations are all delivered because you are a good devotee. Just like Pallad Maharaj, he was afraid so one pure devotee can deliver the whole generation of family members. All the generations, all the ancestors. All the generations. Just like one tree, if you have one sandalwood tree in the forest, the whole forest becomes very beautiful and has a beautiful aroma. 
，就好像一棵檀香树，嗯，因为这一棵檀香树呢，整座森林都会嗯弥漫着芬芳。So one pure devotee in the family can deliver all the family members. So, in the family, one pure devotee can deliver all the family members. Yes. Um, Yuvati Sachi had raised her hand. Um, ah, Hari Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj, and dear devotees, please accept my humble obeisance. So, Guru Rishi. My question is about Brihad Bhagavatam Rita. So, in the second part, it is said that Indra worshipped Vishnu as his shelter. And what does it mean? Is it a special kind of worship or just a figurative expression like this? It said Indra Indra worshipped Vishnu. Yes, and it's his shelter. Uh-huh. Yuvati Sachi asked, in the Bhagavad Gita, in the second part, there is a statement that the Lord of the Lord of the Lord is the Lord of the Lord, is the Lord of the Lord, and is the Lord of the Lord of the Lord. Is he the Lord of the Lord of the Lord, or is he the Lord of the Lord of the Lord? 词语的表达呢 ？Well, just like we take shelter of Lord Krishna by worshiping the deity of Krishna and by chanting the name and by hearing about Krishna, so that's taking shelter, somehow connecting ourselves to Krishna. 这就好像我们会崇拜神像，唱诵圣名，聆听 Krishna， 这就是托比 Krishna。就是与，想方设法的和 Krishna 联系，呃，连接在一起。So we are, we take shelter of Krishna, we take shelter of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we can take shelter of Prabhupada, we can take shelter of the association of devotees. It means they're there to help, to protect us from the material energy. To protect us from being attracted to Maya. We will be protected by the devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Okay, any other question? Uh, thank you very much, Gurudev. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Guru Mani, how you went to Ma? Yeah. Maharaj, no, 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 no more? So we'll finish here tonight? Kaima? Yes, yes, Maharaj. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Guru Mani. Thank you, Padma Mukhi. Thank all the devotees. Jufuni man, how how nice song. One and Hare Krishna, Shiva Prabhupada ki jai. Okay, finished. Name and your question. You any questions? Any of you people, your questions? No. We're hearing the past.